Hey guys, how's it going? Halo Reviewer here. Today I'll be doing a review on the DC Multi, uh, DC Direct actually, McFarlane Toys DC Direct um, Gorilla Grodd action figure. Because of course these page punchers are under the DC Direct line that um, Tug got the license to, which I'm not really mad about, but it does make the title a little confusing. But enough of that. Uh, I've got to say that this Gorilla Grodd is my favorite Gorilla Grodd. I owned the Injustice version a while back, but I sold it once I heard uh, this guy was coming out. And he's this is how he should have been originally. Um, if you guys owned the Injustice version, I felt like his legs were a little too um, skinny. Like he was all 90% top body and 10% legs. This one's a little more well-rounded out. Like he just looks like a straight-up gorilla. And I like the blue shading that he ha added around in some parts, like in his hand right here. Sculpting and painting on this guy is just superb. All of the mega figs are very nice with the sculpting and the painting. You'll never be disappointed in that, like I said, as well with the platinum figures. Um, some people are mad about the orange. I really don't, like, I, I think it adds to his character. Instead of just being a regular, you know, gorilla, he has all this armor on him. And a little cape in the back. Let me see if I can show that off. And he stands very well, as you can see. Even though he's a very heavy figure, here's the back. He has like a little torn cape, which I like a lot. And then straight to the side, almost have an action pose. I really like it a lot. I really like this figure a lot, guys. Such a huge improvement, like a hundred times better than the Injustice version. So next time we get a Gorilla Grodd, he better be something like this. And who knows, maybe he'll release a basic figure without the armor. Because it's already there to have that Gorilla Grodd, essentially. Or you can do it yourself if you're a good customizer. You can take all this stuff off yeah i was just showing off the fig a bit very nice very nice in my opinion here we got a little comparison with some of the other recent mega figs that released uh the bane figure to the left and the killer croc to the right of course these figures are slightly taller than gorilla grod which I'm, i don't have a problem but the gorilla grod definitely is a lot more beefier not as beefy as the clay face but he's definitely a beefy figure with bulkier arms so that really makes up for it in my opinion. But he's almost at their height. Like I said, this is worth it. This is like the Gorilla Grodd. And for 40 bucks, I don't mind. And, and the painting is so nice. I'm going to do a little more comparisons so real here's quick. a little more size comparisons with some of the other Mega Figs. Um, some of the more beefier ones that McFarlane has come out with. For the DC Multiverse line, we got the Bane. The original Bane from The Last Night on Earth, I believe. Hopefully I got that title right. There's so many. And uh, Clayface to the left, which is probably the beefiest of them all. But like I said, I'm not very mad at this figure. He's very well proportioned. Like this Bane, his head seems kind of small compared to the rest of his body. This guy is very well proportioned. And plus, who doesn't like the gorilla as a villain? Like he has all this super strength and he's intelligent and he has all these uh, uh, like mental abilities as well. So he's a very OP character in the DC universe. Like I said, very, very nice figure. I'm very happy with this guy. Glad McFarlane came out with this release. Just for the fun of it, here we got the Wally West Flash um, next to the Gorilla Grodd action figure. I think it proportions very well. You know, he's almost twice his size. And he's definitely a lot bigger than him. So you can have him po hold, posing him, you know, bear hugging him, bear hugging the Flash. It's, it's a very nice figure, like I said. Very nice. Much, much better um, over the Injustice one. Maybe that Injustice one was this size. and You know, his legs were probably well proportion to his body as well and maybe i'd say the same thing about that figure but this one is better and oh and the articulation is much better can you believe a mega fig having a better articulation than you know the original release sometimes these mega figs have a lot of sculpting on them so it's kind of hinders our articulation but this gorilla grod is very well i'm gonna show it off as you can see we can this is how good he gets with the t-pose the armor actually doesn't ar hinder his articulation his arms go about that wide in length he has very long arms like a gorilla of course they're very top heavy so here he is with that t-pose very very nice the splits very good look he could do the splits like i said the articulation on this guy is, is very nice for a mega fig so smooth his body can go 360 if you wanted to i don't know why you wanted to do that but there you go it's broken from his uh, lower half to top half um body waist um, let's see, double hinged elbows, but they work very well on this figure. Better than uh, some of the other ones, at least. Could almost get that 90. Very nice. Um, the head. You can move around. If you go to go 360, I'm not going to do that here. And of course, articulated um, ankles. 
you heard if you can hear that snap like i said the blue shading around this figure is very nice i love it when mcfarland throws in uh blue shading on their figures it's always a nice uh, piece he's done it with like the red sun and the nightwing um i'm not too sure with who else i believe the super woman figure also has a nice shading on it um what i also like about this uh mega figure that it came with the comic it's very nice this is the comic uh, art where this uh, Gorilla God is inspired by. And of course, this is uh, McFarlane writing his own stuff, according to the multiverse uh, community. And I see it. That's why we got this weird Adam figure and the Flash like this. He looks very nice in the comic, but I don't know the figure translate the same. I definitely want to get the other two villains. So maybe you'll see a review of those guys because I love the Flash's rogues. He has the second best um, behind Batman, in my opinion, but that's just me. But yeah, here's the review, guys. Uh, please check out my other stuff. I'm coming out with more um, content later out this month. So yeah, be on the lookout. Leave a like, comment. Uh, check out my other stuff. And have a good one.